Hello children, welcome back. Today we will discuss second part of chapter 3, Plants. In the previous section, we have discussed about parts of a plant and the different plants on the basis of their structure like uh, herbs, shrubs, climbers, creepers, trees. We have also studied about roots, their importance, stem, their importance and leaves and the process of photosynthesis which takes place in leaves. Today we will discuss about flowers and seeds. So let's get started. Now what is flower? When we see a plant, the most attractive part or the first thing we see is its flower. So it is the most attractive part and plus it has got fragrance also. Now how these flowers are developed? The plant, it has got buds. From these buds, the flowers are developed and from these flowers, fruits are developed. The flower in its center, it has nectar in it. Nectar, we have already discussed what is nectar. It is a sweet juice which the insects have, like uh, suppose honeybees there. So what does it do? It just uh, sip on that uh, nectar and then produces honey from that. Okay. And that center of the center, it is protected by the petals. So we'll get to know about these things one by one. So here is a process from buds develop the flowers and from flowers develops the fruits. Here you can see this bud is there. You must have seen, all of you must have seen this. There is a bud and from this bud, the flower is developed. Now we'll see the different parts of a flower. So let us first see and try to understand this diagram and we'll understand the concepts later. Here you can see that uh, you can try holding a flower in your hand from anywhere and then just start observing the different different parts of it. Okay, so we'll start from the bottom end. So you can see this green colored structure or leaf colored structures. These are at the base of the flower and what is their role? that they hold the flower. You can see the whole, the flower is being held in these green leaves only. So these leaves are known as sepal. Okay. Then we have the colorful part through which we get attracted all the time. And these are the petals. So two main parts are sepal. The green leaf like structures are the sepals and petals are the colorful structures. Then we have both male uh, parts and female parts of a flower. Okay. That will go uh, like here you can see a style is there a long neck like structure and then it is the ovary. So it is the female part of the flower. It mainly consists of the stigma style and the ovary and the male part is this anther filament. Okay so we'll understand the importance and functions of all these parts one by one. Now sepal. So sepal is at the bottom of the flower. You have already seen the green tiny leaf like structures. These are called the sepals. So what is the role of the sepals? I have already shown you the example of the image of bud. In that you can see those green leaf like structures. They have covered the flower. So when the flower is in the bud state, the sepals protect it. Okay. Now what happens as the flower opens, the sepals curl back. They just move backwards and they form a cup like structure. And that full flower, it is at, attached to the stem by a stalk. Next was stamen. Stamen, it is known as the male reproductive part of the plant. Now in stamen, two main parts are there. Filament and anther. Now what is filament? Filament is a long tube structure and it has pollen producing structures on the ends. And uh, this oval shaped structure, you have got oval shaped structures was seen. It is known as anther. So stamen, what is stamen? It is the male reproductive part of the plant and it has got two structures. What are they? These are the anther and the filament. Next is carpel. So what is carpel? The female reproductive part of the plant is the carpel and the carpel consists of three parts. Okay, what are these three parts? At the top it was stigma. Then there was a uh, thick neck like structure that is style and at the bottom the, it is ovary. So the, all these three structures, what are they? Stigma, style and ovary, they together 
they together uh, together these are called carpel and it is the female reproductive part of the flower okay what is style in the uh, center you will see a long tube like structure that is called style stigma stigma is at the top and why it is called stigma so let us first understand why it is called stigma stigma because it has got sticky substance on which uh, the pollen stick the pollens uh, of the uh, which are released from the stamen or the pollen grains which are formed from that so these stick on that stigma and that is why the name stigma is given next is ovary ovary it is at the bottom and it contains the tiny ovules or the egg cells next is pollination now what is pollination like you have seen uh, the various insects are sitting on the flower like butterfly honey bees or moths they get attracted to the color and the smell of the flower so what happen when these insect they sit on the uh, flower to suck the sweet nectar pollen grains stick on their body so on their body the pollen grains get stuck and these carry these pollen grain on their body and when they visit the another flower what happens they sit on the flower again and on stigma these pollen grain get stick on this so in this way the transfer of pollen grains we have seen that from one plant the insect they carried the pollen uh, pollen grains and they transferred into the flower of the another plant so that is known as pollination okay so basically yahan par kya hua ki ek plant tha us plant mein kya hua insects they sat on that particular plant okay so what happened those pollen grains they get stick uski body pe bhi pollen grains stick ho gaye and ab wo insects aisa to nahi hai ki ek hi plant pe baithega fir wo insect ho sakta hai ki kisi dusre plant pe baithe to uski body mein already wo pollen grains stick ho chuke hain to jab wo dusri plant pe baithega to uski stigma pe kya hoga ye pollen grains stick ho jayenge to yahan par kya hua transfer hua pollen grains ka ek plant se dusre plant mein to isiliye ise kya bola gaya इसे बोला जाता है पॉलिनेशन ओके अब ये जो पॉलिनेशन है द प्रोसेस ऑफ पॉलिनेशन इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स राइट वन इज सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन एंड अनदर वन इज क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द टू टर्म्स नाउ सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन सेल्फ मतलब अपने में या खुद से सो सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन में हमें बस एक टर्म समझ के वी हैव टू गेट द आइडिया दैट एक ही फ्लावर में या एक ही प्लांट में क्या होगा कि पॉलिनेशन ऑफ अ फ्लावर बाय पॉलिन फ्रॉम द सेम फ्लावर टू दी हम मतलब पॉलिन ग्रेन्स एक ही फ्लावर के पॉलिन ग्रेन उसी फ्लावर के स्टिग्मा पे अगर जाएंगे तो उस पॉलिनेशन को हम क्या बोलते हैं सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन अब क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन में क्या होगा दैट द पॉलिन पॉलिन ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम वन फ्लावर ओके दे विल गेट ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू दी स्टिग्मा ऑफ दी another flower so that is why here two flowers are or the two different flowers are associated to isiliye isko kya bola gaya cross pollination when pollen grains are transferred to a flower from a different plant ab dusre plant ke agar pollination tumhare dusre plant se agar ek plant se agar dusre plant mein pollen grains transfer ho rahe hain to use hum kya bolte hain cross pollination bolte hain now now the process of pollination is over what's next अब क्या होता है जो पॉलिन ग्रेन्स थे जो स्टिग्मा पर अटैच थे ओके द पॉलिन ग्रेन्स व्हाट दे डू दे एंटर द ओवरी थ्रू द स्टाइल सो देर इज अ पैसेज ओवर देयर ओके होता ये है कि वो स्टिग्मा पे स्टिक हुए स्टिग्मा के थ्रू दे विल क्रॉस पास थ्रू द स्टाइल एंड फाइनली दे विल फॉर्म दे विल एंटर द ओवरी एंड देन सीड्स आर फॉर्म दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड फर्टिलाइजेशन यानी दैट पॉलिन एंड द ओव्यूल्स जो पॉलिन ग्रेन्स थे जो कि मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट से आए थे एंड ओवरी जो तुम्हारे एग सेल्स थे जो कि हमारे फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट में है तो बोथ ऑफ देम दे फ्यूज टुगेदर एंड देन दे फॉर्म सीड्स तो इस प्रोसेस को बोला जाता है फर्टिलाइजेशन नाउ व्हाट हैपन्स द ओवरीज स्वेल्स एंड बिकम फ्लैशी जो ओवरी थी अब वो क्या हो जाती है इट बिकम स्वेल एंड नाउ इट बिकम फ्लैशी एंड द सीड्स जो बने वो किस में कन्वर्ट हो जाते हैं फ्रूट और जब फ्रूट बन जाता है तो उसके बाद फ्लावर्स की जो पेटल्स है अब उनका कोई रोल नहीं है तो दे सिंपली ड्राई अप यू कैन सी इट इज अ डायग्राम ऑफ हिबिस्किस प्लांट इज गिवन हियर सो यू कैन सी अ हिबिस्किस फ्लावर इज हियर सो व्हाट हैपेंस दिस इज अ प्रोसेस ओके सो इट इट वॉज द स्टेगमा स्टाइल एंड हियर वॉज द ओवरी तो जो पॉलिन ग्रेन आया था वो पॉलिन ग्रेन कहाँ एंटर हुआ इन दी ओवरी 
okay now what happens the ovule part you can see the ovule part is now converted into seed and the ovary gets converted into fruit now seeds what are seeds every plants have seeds right see some plants have only one seed like mango now the season is coming summer season you find mango is there so it has got only one seed and some have many seeds like apple watermelon so if you want to understand the structure of seed you, what you can do you can see, uh, soak the rajma seeds overnight and in the morning you will find it that the seed is swollen up okay and now soft and now what do you have to do you have to break the seeds into two halves and then have a look in it so you'll find a similar like kind of structure is there so it's seed typically it has got three main parts okay mainly a seed coat actually we can say a seed coat yes and embryo and this one the this part is called cotyledon which has the function of storage of food and this you can see it is the baby plant so what happens a thick outer covering which protects the seed it is called seed coat and inside the seed there is an embryo or the baby plant okay and you must have seen there is a hole kabhi kabhi aapne seed agar usko acche se examine karoge so you'll find a hole in the seed coat so uska kaam kya hai it allows the water to enter the seed wo pani ko enter karne mein help karta hai and when we remove the seed coat we can see that there are seed leaves known as cotyledons okay abhi jo seed uh, leaves ya cotyledons hain unka kaam kya hai these store food for the embryo एंड कुछ सीड्स के पास सिर्फ एक कोटाइलेडन होता है और कुछ के पास दो सम हैव टू कोटाइलेडन एंड सम हैव ओनली वन नाउ हेज एन असाइनमेंट फॉर यू टुडे द टॉपिक्स दैट आई हैव टॉट यू अबाउट द फ्लावर द पार्ट्स ऑफ फ्लावर पॉलिनेशन फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड सीड यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर द नोट्स ऑफ द टॉपिक्स इन योर रफ नोटबुक दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे थैंक यू सो मच